Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and me creating a lookbook each week of style inspiration to encourage you to do everything, ladies, to hold on to your pretty. Hold on to it, guys. It's fleeting. I'm telling you, it's very fleeting. And I just want to say welcome back to my returning subscribers. I couldn't do it without you. You're my inspiration. You're my motivation. I love you. I thank you. And I appreciate you for coming back each week, for your support, for, for your encouragement, for your enthusiasm. All right. All right, ladies, let's do the lips first. And I know, and I think I left the lipstick in the other room. Give me a second. Got it. I don't know. You know, as a YouTuber, we do so much to prepare for our videos. So much behind the scenes and stuff that has to take place. And sit down and I forget to bring the lipstick. Anyway, this is the Pam, the Pat McGrath. I showed you a couple of weeks ago and I told you I've worn it to church. I wore it to church again this Sunday. It is the most luscious pink fuchsia. It's called extravaganza. That's what's on my lips. That's what's on my lips. I love it. I love it. And it stays, it, you know, it will transfer, but it, it stays. Your mouth looks nice and it just feels good. And I love this lip. I want to get some more. I haven't worn a dark one again yet because the dark ones are, are limited to me. I only can wear them with certain looks. I think the dark looks good when I'm wearing a black turtleneck or chocolate brown or, or dark navy or something. So, But this one, check it out. I still am not able to get a link. When I go to try to get a link, it doesn't come up, but I'll put the website down and you can just go on there. And I think she still has them for $12. Great, great, great. Again this week, my nails are naked nails as I call them, but I did put this um, Olive and June nail brightener where you put two coats on and then you put, and then I put the top coat on and I, it's time for me to do them again. I mean, that was quick. That This dries really fast and it has like an opal essence kind of sheen to it. I don't know if that comes off on camera, a little bit of pink tone. If you just want to do new, neutral nails and and not worry about chipping and stuff, because I've gotten lazy. I am going to put some color on soon, though, but this is so quick and so easy, and my nails feel so much harder. The Sistico had no hardener, no strengthener in there, and these are some weak nails. Now they feel hard. They were just like, I don't know, flexible. So. I like this. If you want to check out Olive and June on that, you should. Now, I got a few new things to show you. First of all, you know, I'm always finding lipsticks, lipstick, li lipsticks, lipsticks. So I was on the Sephora ad. I think I got this at Sephora. I can't remember. It might have been Nordstrom's. Anyway, this is so cute. The little YSL little gift box. I forgot what I paid for it. I'll list it, though. It wasn't bad. So you get three lipsticks. You get this this uh, let me open it up you get a cosmetic bag opens up like that hi ladies it's almost Christmas can you believe it right around the corner and it's it's plastic but it looks like you know stone or something it's got the gold going through it it's a white zipper and of course you're it has this one, I want to, um, I have an, another one by YSL, it's like a lip oil, it's red, it is so great, I put it on in the house on days I don't want to put any makeup on and put a little red lip on, and this is called Oil and Stick, and that's probably what that one is too, it's Oil and Stick, it's Rouge Volumte Shine, and the color is number 150, and this is a nude. I think this is beautiful. Oh, take the glasses off. Look at the tube. The tube is precious. You know, I'm a sucker for packaging and stuff. So here's what it looks like. That looks orange or something, doesn't it? But it's called the nude. Look at that. So you can see it better. Wow. Oh my goodness. I just want to keep rubbing. Oh my, my. So. It's a nude, but it's a, 
and I think it'll be a good nude for me. That's about the color of my lips naturally anyway. It's very, very moist. And I have it in that red. I would get up again and go get it, but I don't think you need me to. But it's a bright red and it's cherry red. It's beautiful. So, and that's, that's a full tube you get in there. I wish I could remember what I paid for this little set. But you also get two lipsticks, but now they are of the small size. Uh, let me do them like they had them. Isn't that cute? You know I love little miniatures. I am a miniature, because I love dolls and stuff, I just think miniature things are so cute. Now this one, let's see what colors we have. I guess I could look on the box and I won't have to strain so much. That was, okay, this miniature, one is called NU Muse, New Muse, and one is called Rouge, Rouge Muse. You know, they're gonna twist my tongue up. So one is kind of a, a orangey looking color and one is, of course, always a red. Gotta have a red in there because I'm not fooling with you if you don't have a red in there. Let me do this one first. This is the Mew, Mew Rouge. Okay, let's put it next to the new. It's almost like that nude in a in a creamy matte kind of finish. That's pretty. It's a good one. Cause sometimes through the week I want just a neutral lip color on. Okay, this is the uh, the red one. I can't even remember. I put, tried to look at that again without my glasses. <laughs> it's not working. Not just working. Okay, here's the red one. Cute little red tube. It's kind of an orangey red. What, what do you think? So that's all three of them. Beautiful. See, if somebody wanted to buy me a gift, this is stuff I like. Give me something with three lipsticks in it. and I'm happy. Lipsticks or eyeshadows or lip balms. So you get all of these in this little kit, like so, like that, and you get them in this nice little, you know, we can always use that, even though I have a million little cosmetic bags. So that was something new I got that I thought I have to share with the ladies. And the gentlemen, if you got a lady in your life and you need to, let me get a tissue, you need to get a gift for you know, I gave you a great gift idea last week with the wraps, travel wraps. So there, they don't stain. So these are not real staining like the Pat McGrath, but beautiful nonetheless. So check it out. It comes in a nice box. I would love, to, you know, oh, you bought me this. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, lips. Or down. Okay. I want to. Okay. Now, you know, last week it was butt. Now it's okay. Let me share with you. I was in um, anthropology. And by the way, I got the greatest skirt to show you from anthropology. I'm just not ready to style it yet. So hold on for that coming up because it's gorgeous. And I'm really trying to find the perfect piece to go with this skirt. But I need to share it with you because well, it's not on sale. So it'll be there. I was in anthropology <laughs> and I was returning something, a headband I had got, I didn't like, I didn't even share it with you, but I saw these other headbands. Look at this one. Look at this one. This one caught my eye because of the color. It's, it's kind of iridescent, has a pinky tone, but it had kind of a gray silver tone. And I thought this would go with my gray hair. I guess I could take this tag off right I know okay this one was what twenty dollars yeah it was twenty bucks I liked it though so I brought a mirror out here I, you know the hair whatever but I thought this and you know now that I don't have any hair when I put headbands on sometimes the space shows where my hair used to be so thick but ladies look at that that with the gray is that not a cute headband? Look at this. She's shining. She's got that little knot up there. Oh, I just fell in love. I just fell in love. I thought, mm. and it's not pressing down into my head. It's lightweight. It is so cute. So, 
we're gonna bring headbands back and I've been seeing a lot more headbands lately in the movies that I'm looking at there are headbands so and if you've got some of your old ones you can pull them back out cuz you can call Miss Hillary Clinton and say hey pull out your headbands Hillary they're back they're back so I got that one cuz I thought oh it's almost subtle but it's nice and it'll go on black hair blonde hair oh my god it'll look gorgeous on some platinum hair it'll look good on some snow white hair too so that's that one and then I got this was a set a trio uh, I took the price off earlier and now let me see what it I think these were 22 I think I can't remember but look at that the pearls you've got the white white you've got a bone color and you got a pink tone oh, are they not adorable and look at the ants they got the little pearls there so you know like I got all this off-white on today I could put it on I could do one look at that sometimes it's just a simple simple little pearl headband even if your hair is all the way cut off you know cut real short you can throw the little headband on and you can see you see how I said how you can see my <laughs> you can see I'd have to like really push it down there you go that's better but I even thought about these you could almost wear them together look at that which they're not made like that but you could you could easily wear these together so if you've got a, a young person in the family, you, you want to get them something. Teenagers and young women love headbands. I love headbands. And they work just perfectly well. Oops. Okay. I'm tangled up. As if I need anything to mess up this hair on my head because it's a mess today. But that's the headbands. Anthropology. I'm dropping stuff. Ouch. You know, this aging is, is, is something else, ladies. I just have to say, I'm going to take a moment, take a moment to give a moment of appreciation to aging and still still moving around and stuff. Because every now and then I'm moving, this knee goes, what, what, where are you going? Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> a little, a little uh, elderly humor for us ladies out there of a big age. <laughs> So headbands down, I want to show you this. I was on the Banana Factory site. Well, not really, you know, it pops up in Facebook and Twitter. I'm mean, not Twitter, uh, Instagram. But I saw these t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts. And I don't know, in the summer I did this video on these beautiful tops from Banana Republic. They were short sleeve and they had that asymmetrical, asymmetrical neckline. And one had the peplum waist guards, but they were real heavy. And I kept saying, I wish they would make them in a in a long sleeve. But anyway, I was on, I was watching, I was on that site, and I saw this. Look at this. This is asymmetrical. It's in white, and it's long sleeves, but it's just out of regular, nice heavyweight t-shirt material. And I got smalls. They're pretty, pretty loose and big. I can't wait to wear them. And I got a black one too. These were twenty bucks. I was not leaving that on the table. Even though I may not wear them until the spring, I thought I got to share it with the ladies. So Banana, T Banana Republic Factory is where I got these, I think. Yeah. Well, I'll list them below. I'm sure it was factory, even though it just says Banana Republic on here. But I thought, wow, these are fantastic. I got one of each. So. That right there would be a nice holiday gift. Not too expensive. I would love it. You got me two of these. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> so, Banana Republic out of the way right there. I also, I've added to my uh, cashmere. You know I'm into this cashmere. I had one more item that I had ordered from Talbot's. And I got this marked down. It's a cashmere sweater. And the sleeves are those right below the elbow sleeves you know the jewel neck as I call it it has a band around the bottom but it has the lurex silver thread in there you know remember my my silver pants this would go great over that this would go great over a, 
a, a silver colored slip skirt, a, a black slip skirt. So, and they had, you know, a good sale on that. I think I got this in a medium because I wanted it to to hang down kind of loose. So I'll list it too because you know everybody's got out their cashmere on sale right now, which it needs to be. You know, why it's cost so much. So there's that. Coming along, remember last week I also showed the travel wraps from Chico. So and I told you I was gonna order some more. I went back. They didn't they didn't have the leopard one listed anymore. It just wasn't even in the listing. But I did get this beautiful hot pink one. And I ordered the gray one. The gray one has, I think, it's three tones. It's like a dark gray, a medium gray, and a light gray. Or oh, it may just be two tones. But that one hasn't come yet. And I got them for like $21 this time. You know, they were $25 the other time. So, and I keep thinking, what am I going to wear this with? But I'm sure spring's going to come. It'll come up even if you're doing all black and you want to touch the color in the, in the, on the winter days, cold days. So... Again, another great gift idea. Now, when I, while I was on the Chico site, am I being too too long this week? I'm just talking and rattling. Hi, ladies. I, I, I'm excited. That's how I'm just excited. Anyway, <laughs> I was on the Chico site when, um, after getting this, and I, I wanted that leopard wrap. And the only other they had was they had it in cashmere. So, and they had it marked down. Well, they had it on sale. So I ordered you the cashmere wrap. I already opened it. I was going to wear it Sunday, but changed my mind. Here it is. It's so soft. It's like a blanket. And what I did, ladies, I'm going to share with you. Because you know how you get scarves and different things and how the tag shows? I took my seam ripper and got the tag. Took it off. Just took it off. It's got the instructions on here and I can remember because I hate that showing when you try to do it and the tag shows you feel my pain. So at least you know we're regular one what was this? 169. I think that got it for 469 or something like that or 79. But I got that one. Now this one kind of sheds a little bit. Like I can see a little bit. But I got that, but let me show you what I got to go with it because they featured this together. There's a cashmere sweater that goes with that, and I ordered that also. And this was $1.99. I think I got it for $4.99. I can't remember. They had some great sale. Let's look at her. I wanted to share that with you because if you had a gift to get, size that I, I I don't know you know I never those size Chico sizes just blow my mind look at her look at that leopard and then you got the leopard throw to go with it oh I you know I hadn't planned on even showcasing this for you today but maybe I could put it on with a black skirt and something and show you how it looks maybe I'll do that for the finale how about that so stick around and I will <coughs> I think I got fur in my mouth. Stick around and I'll put this on and, and we do it at the end, right? <laughs> okay. Wow, that's. I think that's it. I think that is it. Oh, so much. So many blessings. That's what it is. It's so many blessings and I am so grateful. Now, let's get to the topic of the day. <laughs> it's all about winter dressing. I'm just going to do a few winter looks because... Winter solstice is the 21st, and that's coming up. And we are going to be right into our winter, ladies. So it's time to put the winter pieces on and dress them up and, and dress them down and put your layers on and whatever you want to do. You know, pull out the boots, pull out the socks, just pull out everything, you know, just wrap up and, and look nice and have fun. So we're going to do that, and I will get started, and we're going to put this is part of the first look. You've seen this vest before. It's my big oversized vest. I just put it on. It's, I got a few new pieces from Mango that I'm going to share with you. I think that's most of the new pieces are from Mango. And I'm mixing them with my old pieces. So you know we love Mango here at the Deborah Berry channel, right? So I'll be right back. All right, ladies, here we go. Let's get started, right? I wanted to show you a winter look that we all can wear 
It's an A-line skirt. It's a skirt from Mango. It's heavy. It's got a raw edge to the bottom. I have to zoom in on that to show you. Of course, I have on the boots, but the uh, raw edge from the bottom gives the skirt a little bit of a, a, a edgier look, I thought. I love the print, the, the weight of it. Let me come up close to show you this. It has like a foam backing on top of on the back of here. It's really cool. And I just put on, and this blouse is mango too. It's a new blouse. I went through my blouse inventory and I, I have a ton of cotton blouses. We all do. I have all the cotton. I needed some dressier type blouses. So I ordered this one. I ordered another one too. But this one is a nice color. It's got the little cuff that folds back nice collar really nice I'll list this you know if you want to check out the blouse the skirt I got it in a size too big it's a, a large I got a pen right here it needs to be tailored for me but I think it was it was marked down and they didn't have any more sizes so I'll, I'll try to list this I don't know if they'll still have it but it works perfect with these Sam Edelman winter white boots and I thought I could wear oh I wanted to share with you too remember the Michael Kors belt that I didn't take back I still have this would be the perfect belt to work with this this is why I want a belt this color and I haven't found any others that I like but again I'm going to show you I can still I can wear it with this I still got that thing going on you know I really wish it had a little they ought to invent some that you can hook over to hold that's clear would be nice or in gold or silver would be nice but it works with the belt too and, you know because if it was just held down then I would hit it I think I would my arm's going to hit it see look at this my arm's going to hit it that way but it, give, it gives it a nice look though with the cream colored belt and I had pulled out my Tory Burch this is my very first Tory Burch bag I ever got my husband bought it for me when we were dating that cute that's when I knew he was a keeper so I have this one which would work with the look work really well with the look a nice little touch and I also have my coach bag it's a little more casual it's a crossbody maybe you're hitting that thing it's a crossbody but it would work it would work nonetheless so it's according to where are you going what you got to do, do you need your hands free, you know, are you going to be going where you're going to have cocktails and you're going to be standing and holding a drink in one hand and your appetizer in another. Or so. so this works out great, even though that would too, because you can also crossbody that one too. This one's very lightweight and very, very nice. Very, very nice. So. That is look number one, ladies. We're going to put on some more looks for you. But I wanted to share this skirt with you, this blouse. Of course, this vest, you know, I got last year at Talbot's. And it comes in handy. I've seen some on, um, what do I want to say, Amazon. I've seen some on Amazon. And I thought I should get me a black one at least. Because when you just throw this sweater on, it covers a multitude of scents. You know what I mean? A multitude of scents, you know what I mean. So I don't know. I'm gonna put on something else for you and show you. So I'll be right back, ladies, with the next look for you. <laughs> we switched it up this time, ladies. We got a little gray and black going on here. I wanted to feature this Banana Republic belt. Remember, I showed it to you. I think last week. It's just a cool belt. It's kind of a cinched waist it's got the elastic piece back here and i have on mango pleated skirt you've seen before i have on my sam i think these are sam edelman it might be franco sardo uh, i think they're i think they're franco sardo <laughs> they're kind of a crocodile black little ankle boot see them Nice pointed toe, you know I love, I have a couple of pairs of these, I have them in the gold and I have them in this color. Really just a comfortable boot to wear, perfect heel, everything, just, just the perfect heel to wear with 
your outfit. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't put the, the sweater. The sweater is mango, and I will never, ever, ever buy another one like this. I hate itchy sweaters, so I put the t-shirt under it. I didn't realize it was so itchy. Oh, I, I didn't check the labels, I guess. And when I put it on with the black, it's already shedding all over the black. I hate that. Don't you hate that, ladies? When stuff just... So I'm going to have lots of fun washing this black t-shirt to get this lint off of here. But it's cute together. I was going to put white under it, and I thought, well, if I do the black shoes, the black belt, I should put a black t-shirt under there to coordinate. Trying to coordinate, you know, trying to do it all correctly. But again, it's another look we can all wear all sizes. We can put this nice knit pleated skirt, I've shown you this before, on with different things. Let me uh, take this off, show you. The sweater's a nice, big, oversized sweater, because some days that's what we want. We want something big and oversized that we don't have to think about, you know, that we can just put on and get dressed and get out the door. And it is. It's just big and loose. That's what we want. Some days you just want that. You want the comfort of putting on something simple, classic, loose, comfortable, you know, that you can put on over some pants, some jeans, and anything. So this, it's a winter. It's winter, so it would work well for the winter. And I just put on my old Kenco cuffs, some old earrings. I just couldn't figure out a necklace. I could have put my lariat necklace on with this. I have it over here. Let me get it for you. One second. Okay. Yeah. I have this necklace. I could have put this on. Could have put this on. I think it's an old kind of code. So add a little silver around the neck. I think that kind of works, right? It works with the silver. I love the gray with the silver. I don't have a bag with silver. I thought I saw a black bag somewhere. I'm going to get me a plain black bag that has all black and doesn't have silver or gold hardware. You know, this would be perfect if it was... I don't like that. I don't mind mixing metals, and I would carry it if there was nothing else. <laughs> or either put... Everything I have just about has some kind of gold hardware because I love gold hardware. But, you know, we'll figure it out. And I thought about putting even this belt if I wasn't wearing um, silver. This is another Banana Republic belt. Nice belt. The wide belt. Okay, now of course I would definitely have to take that off, right? This is one I showed you. We need a little cooperation. Just a little cooperation. And we are so thankful to have the keeper right there. Okay, we got to lose this to, to demonstrate this. This is throwing me off there. But, again, nice belt. It really, it goes on so neatly with that belt. This is just a nice belt to have. I hope some of you got this. Some of you got, I think, one of them. But this one is great. And once they keep that 30% off and 40% off, go in there and get you some of those nice belts from Banana Republic. Oh, this just feels comfortable. If I could do it with gold, got accents, I could change the gold accessories and still wear this with this. Or I could put white under here and, you know, put a, a different kind of shoe on. It's always going to be a black shoe. I don't have a gray shoe. I don't have any gray boots. But this works. It's all about creating our looks. Right, ladies? Putting them together, coming up with what we need. So. I am going to come back with the next look for you, <laughs> and we'll see what we're going to, we're going to do. We're going to get a little more comfortable, but it's still winter. Winter's all about layering. That's why I wanted to put another layer under here, even though this is itchy. It will always have another layer. That's about boots and layering and sweaters and jackets and coats and all that. We're just doing our the, the, the under layer, right? <laughs> I'm not doing coats today. Well, we might need to do some coke soon, huh? Because it's getting cold. So I'll be right back with the next look. All right, ladies, let's get comfortable with our layering. Let's get casual and equestrian even. This look, we can all do also. I try to do stuff that everybody can do. 
Let's, let's start at the top here. Let's see. Turtleneck. It's a Talbot's cotton turtleneck. I bought at the end of the summer. And a black and a white. Really just nice and not itchy. My Banana Republic white shirt. Seen it before. Nice long tail in the back. The new the jacket is new. It's mango. This is a good classic jacket, ladies, to add to your wardrobe. Look how it's cut. It's lightweight. It's a wool, but it's nice. It's comfortable. Pockets. Pocket. I have on a pair of Ann Taylor old pants. They're like leggings, but they're thick. Nice. And I have on the Franco Sordo boots. I showed you these last time. Let me take this bag down. And I don't know, I have a skirt on with me. This color is so different. And I just want you to look at the boot. It's that perfect heel. Like I said, it comes in a brown crocodile like. <sighs> and they don't have my size. But look at those. Aren't they beautiful? They are beautiful. It's a beautiful cut. Nice. I could have three more pairs of boots like this, just with this heel. Kind of like my Sam Edelman's, the heel, as far as the heel height goes. This color is called Claret, and you may be able to find it, but I just, I got it. I said, I want to try those. It's just got the heel I want. That was all they sold me on, and the only color they had was this, so I got this. They had them on sale. But let me show you this, this jacket and this. This jacket is just lovely. It's just lovely. Not real expensive. Mango has, I'm sure. Make, Macy's has it. Uh, Nordstrom's may have it. I will list it at Macy's if I can. And if, um, maybe I'll try to find it on Mango too. So if, if, if Macy's has it in a, in, in a few sizes, I'll list it on Macy's and you can find it there. But it's a, it's a good jacket. It's a one. I, t I wore it to church a couple of Sundays ago with black turtleneck, that black faux pleated leather skirt and everything. So let's see. Now, if your body's not like mine, let me show you something. I love this, you know, I love this. I love to button and belt me a jacket. But if you don't have mother caboose back there, you can wear it like this. Because when I do it like this, look at that. <laughs> it's funny. It's really funny. Everything's sticking out. But you can add a belt, ladies. Add your belt. I'm, I'm always doing it. I want to do it this way. Because I'm just used to doing it. Just the way that. Anyway, you put the belt on, notch it, you do it. You know how we did before. Okay, stay notched, please. Put it in the keeper. Put it in the keeper. Did I do? Oh, that is another thing I always do. You know how it has a flap over here? I like to take and put the flaps inside. Sometimes, sometimes out. We'll pull them out this time, okay? But look how neat that looks. That looks so neat with that. So neat. But. You got a butt that sticks out. Hmm. That's what happens. And I don't. I, I swear, I like a jacket with no bits. Just, just give me a little more flare back there and stitch that down, or have the double bits. So I have that action going on. Do you have that action going on if you <laughs> were to button your jacket? Because there's hips back there. But let me show you this. Remember the travel wrap from Chico's. And see, this one, I think I still got the label on. I'm going to have to get in there and get that label off. But you could throw this on with this, too. It's a crisp day. You're going to meet the girls for lunch. And it's not real, real cold. But a great day to just <laughs> move that out the way. Great day to throw on a little extra layer. Keep you warm. You know, you throw your layer on. Oh my goodness, come on with it. You know, grab your bag, head on out the door. See, and this is why I like, sometimes I like to put the flap inside so I can just do this, very neatly do that. There you go, ladies, that's a look. That's a look. <laughs> I appreciate you hanging with me. We got one more look, well it was gonna be one more look, but remember I promised you if you stuck around, I would put that leopard sweater on and that travel wrap with something. But I got one more look. I got a, a pantsuit that I got from from Mango that you're going to love. It's it's like corduroy and it's like velvet. 
because it has no whales in it. You know, like corduroy has the whales. You can get wide whale or pin whale. It's considered corduroy, but it has no. It's a beautiful color. It's a brown, but it's got a lot of olive in it. So I'm just going to put that on with a turtleneck, show you that, and then I'll show you that other. But look at this. Yeah, I think I like the um, flap me inside, you know. Flap me inside. But this belt, you know, I got that other banana belt with the big gold buckle. But it works with these pants. When you just can't think of anything else, you put, put on you some tall boots, some leggings, or some fitted pants that'll easily go down into your boot and not cause a problem. You know, some of them, when you're trying to do it, it looks too chunky. But this, this is a look we can all do. This is a look we can be classic, simple, and pretty. My fashion, my style, my age, my runway, my choice. All right, you know, get up, get dressed, and look our best. That's what we're here for at the Deborah Berry Channel. I'll be back with the next look for you. Look at this, ladies. Perfect, perfect pantsuit soft, luscious. It's brown, but it's green. It's green, but it's brown. I'm not quite sure what the color is. I'm sure it's brown, but it has t a lot of green background in it, like the, like the Mother Nature. You know, it's not quite brown. It's not quite green. It's a mixture of colors. Put on a, this is a Calvin Klein turtleneck. I have about three of these. I have two black I have a burgundy. I have about four of them, huh? I don't think I have a white one, but it's a lovely turtleneck. It has those puff sleeves I've shown you before. Nice and ribbed, comfortable. This is the uh, mango pantsuit. Look at this pantsuit, ladies. I had to just now take the little part of the booster. Why do they always put that? I don't think they need that. And I didn't get a chance to uh, steam the pants, so you see the little crease right there. But they're a flare leg. I pulled out this old Gucci clutch, vintage Gucci little clutch that'll pick up the colors. And these shoes. These are some vintage Ferragamo suede lace up shoes that are olive green but go so well with this pantsuit. I was like, wow, this almost like it was bumped together. And these were from my fabulous aunt, oops, I fall in here, my fabulous Aunt Jean who, who, who just breathed fashion and style. This is really a purse that was hers years ago. This, the shoes, so I got the Ferragamos. They are not the most comfortable shoe. They fit okay, but the bottom of my foot is, the, is really hard. It's just hard. I need to put a little bit of cushion in there. But they are loverly, loverly, and this suit from Mango is loverly too. And I want you to know, there are so many times I've missed, I want that big Run DMC Michael Kors necklace. All of you that told me to keep it, I should have kept it. I want it, I want it. the bigness. And if it goes on sale, I'm going to get it again. I am. I'm sorry. I, I miss having it. I want some bold in your face jewelry sometimes. This is a Michael Kors chain belt. My course watch, my uh, Anna Luisa bracelet, just some gold hoops. I didn't even think to change them. But look at this, ladies. This is great. And again, I have a brown suede belt here. Let me see. I didn't open the pockets yet, so you know I haven't done that thing that I do. And of course, you see what happens when I do that and show you both sides. Not as bad as the gray one, right? But I have this brown suede belt from Banana. Yeah, I know, me and Banana. I know, me and Banana. But let's see, if I wanted to belt it, of course I still have the chain belt on under here. But it's just like the black one. But it could be belted. I just want to show you that it could be belted with this and look gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous. And we're just, we're just playing around here because I still have that chain belt on <laughs> underneath. Is that crazy or what? But belting a jacket gives it a new look for you. Gives it a pull together. She, she's she got her shit together. She is about business. She She's taking names, you know, <laughs> checking them off, you know, like, hey, she's confident. She's, and it doesn't stick out as much in this, which is good. But look at that, ladies. 
lovely 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 and if you have stuck with me this long please if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't come back and see me i'm here every thursday every thursday just for you now i promised you to put that leopard cashmere sweater on and do the leopard wrap so i'm going to do a quick change and put that on for the finale just for you ladies and i'll be back with the finale don't forget mango lovely lovely <laughs> she is so ready look at her look at her look at me look at us look at we look at her this leopard sweater I want you to see it it's just a jewel neck nice it's soft it's long the wrap is lightweight I think I would always wear them together because this stuff sheds. It's kind of sheddy. Maybe after it gets washed, it won't. But I kept a Chico. This is my Chico's faux leather pleated skirt. And I just put the little black crop boots on. I figured it would go with the texture of the uh, leopard print or animal print or whatever. Excuse me, <coughs> you wish to call it. It's been a long day, but I'm having so much fun. And I hope this finale was worth waiting for. I put the brown belt on. I thought the brown would break up all of the black down here. Perfect brown belt. Look at that. Look at that, ladies. We can do that. We can do that. Wait for this to go on sale. Because, yeah, and it's going to really be on sale after Christmas, I'm sure. Chicas will have some more off. But I thought I'd treat myself because I wanted the travel wrap in, in the uh, leopard, in the cotton. I'd much rather have it in the cotton, but I'll take the cashmere. You know, if I can find it. See, it's got static clean. I gotta get me some more static clean. Look at that. But it's beautiful, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. My fashion, my style, my age, my choice. And I thought I could still carry this bag with it. It would still go because I'm trying to pick up the browns or my big coach bag, which this is my everyday bag this time of the year, but it would go so well with it. Just a big coach bag, going to lunch or something, got your bag, you're good to go. You're good to go. Look at that static clean. But I, I love it. I think animal print is just something that's here to stay. You don't have to have a lot of it. You know, get you a little bit, add it to your wardrobe, it always works out. And, and just adds a little pizzazz, a little little flavor to the look. This and this would be great even with the black wide leg ankle pants that um, Chico's has. Though I don't know, I don't know what I want to put this next to the black that's gonna shed on the black. But it would be great even with some some leather pants, some cream. I have that cream um, mango skirt this leopard will go I have to show it to you one day with the leopard with that cream colored faux leather oh, wouldn't that be nice wouldn't that be nice but this is it this is this week's done for you next week it'll be Christmas are you guys ready are you just ready for Christmas you know and usually uh, the, my recording days is Monday and I won't be recording next Monday on Christmas Day hopefully I'll do it Tuesday I don't want to, you know, break what I'm doing. I'm going to try to keep them coming out because Tuesday I want to do, I want to do that video because I want to do some New Year's Eve worthy party dressing. So I'm going to dress up again. Yes. One more time for the, for the end of the year. I want to dress up again for you and put together some party looks. Uh, I think a couple of new pieces, but mostly what's in my closet which is what we all do this time of year. You get one piece added to something and say, oh, I gotta go to this party. Well, this one is dressy, or I gotta go to this one. It's kind of casual, or I have to host something. So I'm gonna pull out a few things that I think that may be in your closet or something similar that we can all work with and we can all enjoy the new year. So I wanna wish you right now, Merry Christmas. I won't see you till after Christmas. Have a wonderful holiday. And may God bless you with whatever it is you are in need of. Whatever it is you want. Because you know, we, we, it's nice to get what we need. But sometimes we want to get a few things we want. Right? We want a few little extras. 
but sometimes we just want love and if we can get love and, and family around us that's the biggest gift of all right that's the best anyway <laughs> you know what I say leave a little kindness everywhere you go especially do some Christmas kindness do some Christmas kindness somewhere, somewhere, everywhere. Do it everywhere. And I will see you next week. Um, come back and see me. We'll do the, the holiday stuff. And, and, and my mind is wandering again. But I love you. I thank you. And I do so appreciate you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. All that good stuff. I'll see you next week.